Everyone knows who deer hunts. It's really hard to beat a deer's nose. It's probably impossible to beat a deer's nose. They got a bunch of products out there. Oh yeah. But with coyotes, it's even more difficult. Yep. Yeah. And they're a little smarter, aren't they? Oh yeah. Well, they the, they play the wind 100% of the time. And I mean, honestly, you can do all the scent control stuff. You should do all the scent control stuff, but the wind's most important because it doesn't matter what you do, you can't beat a coyote's nose. You're using a, a very small caliber, but a uh, competition style long range rifle. It's a Predator series rifle. It's a 22 250. It's probably my favorite for coyotes, but 243 like you have or 223 gets it done. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like 17s. I mean, you can literally coyote hunt with pretty much any rifle other than a 22 long rifle, I'd say. Use something center fire or a shotgun for that matter. I've got a shotgun in the truck in case we get into a set where it's pretty thick. So. So Chase, now you're a producer and a videographer here with Kentucky Field. Filming coyote hunts is something though you've been doing for a long time. You've self-filmed, right? Oh yeah, I've taken the GoPros out and hung them in the trees and set them on the calls and just kind of had some fun with that, you know, while I was hunting them. So tell me a little bit about one of your favorite coyote hunts that you self-filmed. Uh, there's one where I helped a good, a good buddy of mine, oh, his family, I helped a good buddy of mine's family out. They had three house cats killed in one very short, period of time when it got cold over the winter. I mean, and when I walked up to the house, you could see the coyote tracks going around. I was able to go out there and help them out, uh, knocking down a dog too. I know they appreciated that. So that's probably the one that stands out the most as far as the cell phone was for me. This is one last uh, cat killer for my friend's family to have to worry about. What is it that you like about coyote hunting the most? It's good to come out here and, and take care of an invasive species and help the other wildlife out. So that's a benefit of it. But it's just that I can come out here and I can sit down and I can literally dedicate half an hour to 45 minutes on a farm, and I've got a really good chance of, of seeing some action. On our first day of coyote hunting, it didn't exactly work out, but now we're on a different farm today where you had some insights, but getting a coyote every time should not be expected, right? Oh no, it's, it's difficult. If you're one out of three, you're doing pretty well, but like you said, we had a good tip on this farm. The landowner called me twice recently. One time he had a, a coyote in there actually harassing his, his cattle, and then he was combine on the farm the other day, and he actually had one kind of chasing the combine around the field, so we knew they were being active in this area. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Coyote to your left, Chase. Where? Far left. Oh, I see, I see. He's getting downwind. The coyote's gonna get downwind. I don't want to shoot towards that road. See how he's going downwind. Hopefully he hugs that tree line. If he hugs that tree line, he's coming right downwind. Let him come as close as he can. But I hope he keeps coming. Is that road there? We can't do much about it. But I hope he cuts right. Let him keep coming. Let him come. on his way out, he knows we're here. I gotta stop him. Stop him.
See how he came up next to that road to get down there? Yeah. I mean, the, the wind is, is key. I think that just shows it right there because he, he went well out of his way and put himself next to a road just to get down wind of what he was going to. That was pretty fun though. When they get spooked, if you had that pup distress, a lot of the times they'll stop and they'll give you a second shot. And even after he'd been shot at twice, he still stopped. You made a much harder shot the second one. <laughs> Sometimes it goes like that. <laughs> yeah. I, but I, I, honestly, I, I thought that first one was in him. And I even thought he was hit when I first shot, but then when I saw him taking off, I, I have absolutely no idea how I missed that first shot, but the second shot. A lot of times after you shoot a shot, or at least for me, my nerves are gone. Yeah. You know I mean, and that second yeah. shot, it's just all business, no nerves at all. Well, I had to shoot a, a running shot and oh, yeah. I well, think you I mean, let him a bit too much. Oh, you made the right decision though. I mean, with a coyote like that, you just gotta do it. Well, let's get down and see what you got. Pretty coyote. Yep, female. Not not huge, but not not small either. Obviously, you're a, you're a videographer for us here on Kentucky Field. Uh -huh. We're out and about in the field all the time, and uh, certain times of the year, it seems like about every time we're out, you get a phone call from one yeah. of your landowners yep. that says, "Hey, I've got a pack of coyotes. Are keeping this up oh, at yeah. night? Or hey, we've lost a cat? Or oh, yeah. hey, I've got them in my barn. Will you please come help me out?" Yeah, I mean, it's a regular a regular thing. I've got people who lose pets to them. The farmer on this property here. Uh, called me during calving season. He walked in his barn one day to check on a calf and there was a coyote in the barn eating the afterbirth. And he said it was a dark one, it could be this one. I mean, you might set up five, six, seven, eight times before it works out, but uh, tonight, or today, everything just kind of came together. Beautiful morning, yep. lo and behold, it came right in. Not what we expected, Nope. but we got an opportunity to get moved around and get turned, turned on this She was just one. playing it extra safe. You expect them to come in downwind, she came in extra downwind. She, yeah. was, she was, she, I mean, she went way out of her way. It's kind of amazing, actually. She'd rather be 50 yards from a road and cutting through a wide open field than use this brushy cover here because yeah. she, she has her nose when she goes that way. Yeah, they definitely trust their nose. Mm -hmm. Live and die about it. Well, nice job.